In Bali, preparations are underway to welcome some of the world's most powerful leaders. Security is the top priority for the host nation. The G20 is attended by heads of states, so we are doing simulations of any possible threats like terrorism, hostage situations and any other extraordinary event that is the duty of the special forces. In the weeks leading up to the summit, elite soldiers have taken part in drills, including paratrooper training. More than 18,000 military and police officers will be stationed in Nusa Dua, the resort district hosting the delegates. Twelve warships will be deployed, and more than a thousand personnel will be on standby for evacuations in case a natural disaster occurs. In terms of security, we are experienced. We also pray that nothing will happen, but overall, the security from the police and military is very good. Indonesia has experienced violent attacks in the past. The biggest was the Bali bombings 20 years ago. It also sits on the ring of fire, making it prone to natural disasters. But authorities say they have prepared for every scenario. As one of Asia's most popular tourism destinations, Bali is accustomed to welcoming visitors from all over the world. But this will be the most high-profile event the island and Indonesia has ever hosted. The tourism sector, hit hard by COVID-19 travel restrictions, has started to recover in recent months, with tourist arrivals and hotel bookings on the rise. We do hope the G20 will be successfully uh, executed. Uh, if this has happened, this is a big boost for us in Bali. Schools in the area will be closed for the week to help reduce traffic around the summit location. We are starting online learning again because of G20. Our island, our home, will be more well known because of the G20. So our students understand and they are proud. With the eyes of the world on their home, many believe this is a chance to showcase Bali as safe, welcoming and ready to host all kinds of visitors, including heads of state. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Bali.